Good day. It's Makram Hani, and today we will discuss negotiation, the art of survival and the craft of winning, from the blind loyalty to the rules of nonsense. As an introduction, we should know what is negotiation. Objectives of negotiation. Negotiation disruptions and the biggest killer while we are negotiating. The top three negotiating fears and when things get personal. At the end, tips from Mac and Mac says. Negotiation is the game of life and business. As the says techniques and abilities, it's something that we have instinctly. However, we develop through our life. It's the strategy to achieve and the art of finding solutions. You know, whenever we attempt to reconcile differences or resolve disputes, manage conflicts, influence others, establish or improve relationships, we are negotiating. The role of negotiation is to provide a forum and a process through which three results are accomplished. First, a mutually satisfactory structure, not a win-win situation. It seems as a win-win situation, but it isn't. There are never two winning parties in a negotiation. Always one is willing more than the other one. So, one is winning. The other is losing according to the first. Second, an executed agreement where both parties agree on something. It's to the benefit of both parties or it isn't. This depends on the negotiation techniques of one party. However, it should be an executed agreement. At last, you should have a lasting and mutual beneficial relationship. This is a successful negotiation. We will talk about useful techniques and tools to be used through a negotiation while discussing negotiation disruptions. The first of those is anger. Anger is the episode where losses start. Your losses or the other party's losses. Losses start. If you were angry and left anger control you, then it's your losses. If you used anger as a tool and a useful technique, you are gaining. The other party is the loser. Second is fear. You know, pushing the worst to happen through visualization. We talked about visualization previously. There are several effects of fear. They could be positive or negative because fear is a motivator at the same time fear is a killer. The third is personal and personality conflicts. You came over here to have a definite goal achieved, not to start a war. So stick to your goal and overcome personal matters. The first of negotiation killers and the biggest is anger. You know through anger you could control or give control. Anger is momentary madness so control your passion or it will control you as Horace said. If anger controlled you, you lost control. However, if you knew the other party's boiling point, you could gain control by hitting this point through your tools. Losing your tools, when you are angry, you lost a very important tool that is playing angry, where you show that you are, but you are not. You're still that cool guy who is negotiating, who has his eyes wide open, who have a goal and is sticking to this definite goal. The second successful negotiation tool and at the same time a killer is fear. The top three negotiation fears are 
first the fear of loss fear it you will get it the most thing you should fear is fear itself the second is fear of the unknown imagining the worst where you could waive that by good preparation the third is fear of failure performance anxiety you know men's actions depend to a great extent upon fear as mr milborn said fear this motivator could be a killer at the same time use it control your fear do some preparation have belief in yourself do some positive visualization it will be used as a successful tool rather than a killer the third successful tool and killer at the same time is personality and getting the negotiation to a personal level remember your goal to get what you want not to conduct a verbal war get the cause out on the table if your opponent is getting personal if an apology is in order make it in a smart way if there is a misunderstanding discuss it and clear it up if your opponent deliberately provokes you nothing will be more difficult for him than your cool fair and impartial reaction this will make him reach the boiling point faster at the same time this will make him lose his tools while you're gain gaining new ones as we previously said no rules in human beings so be yourself win win is not an outcome it's a feeling no two winning parties could come out of a negotiation negotiation like life is a game play it with a smile you're win it to score you should at least be on the pitch don't run away be there a bright negotiator will rarely have a problem without a solution in his business in his life in his marriage with his kids with his parents with his friends with anyone he'll never have a problem with life without a solution start working to be one it's makram hani from the blind loyalty to the rules of nonsense have a nice day